When I woke up this morning, I was super excited to see that I had passed 50,000 subscribers. Every time I upload a video, I am still amazed that more than 100 people watch me. I'm pretty sure there's more than 50,000 people in the town that I live in, which blows my mind sometimes. I tried to share my celebratory cupcake with Skeletor, but he was not interested in the strawberry flavor. I had figured I'd hit about 50,000 in the summertime, but it came a little bit early. I do currently have a bet going with my husband about when I can get to 100,000. So if you guys are already subscribed, thank you so, so much. And if you know someone that might enjoy my channel, share your favorite video with them. Hopefully we can get a few more subscribers coming this way. We are continuing to have some really nice springtime weather. I am really excited for winter to be coming to an end, but that means that our mud season is upon us. Pete is a little bit suspicious of what I'm doing today as per usual. But of course, Stewie wants to come over and get some scratches. Ugh. He has covered himself in nasty poop water. I groomed these guys this morning. They are just starting to lose their hair and I'm not gonna try and shed them out just yet because we are having some below freezing temperatures in the evening still. I'd say we probably have three or four inches left on the ground that needs to melt. The ground squirrels have started to dig themselves out of their tunnels. I have had a bunch of questions about these little guys. These are not prairie dogs or gophers. Technically, they are a Richardson's ground squirrel. You can see here that their holes are very tiny. A lot of people poison them or shoot them and I just kind of leave them be. They can make a little bit of a mess of the pasture sometimes. Their little holes are so small, I'm not really worried about the horses stepping in them. There is a badger in the pasture, however, and I always fill in his holes as soon as he makes them because those could definitely break the horse's legs if they stepped in them. Tiny and Huckleberry both hunt these little ground squirrels. There is actually a pair of bald eagles that have a nest pretty close to here and they will come out and snatch them out of the pasture as well. I am hoping in the next couple of days that I might be able to give a few of these horses some baths. Gus is usually the worst offender. Oh, Gus. He is still not 100% sure about what I'm doing when I'm videoing these guys. I am also hoping that this snow and mud will disappear soon so I can drag this dry lot. These horses do have a lot of dry area in this pen right now. But for some reason, they like to lay down in the poop water and roll around. And they are impossible to keep clean this time of year. The snow and ice in Scarlet's pen is melting a little bit faster than I can clean up the poop. You kind of have to do it in layers while everything is melting. She has been spending a lot of her time out in the round pen this winter. She did get to go in the barn for when it was really, really cold, but she just loves being outside. I groomed her this morning as well, and she is just disgusting again. I was about to get started on her pen when I heard the water running. Skeletor. Skeletor is always using his smarts for mischief and it looks like this has been on for quite a while. There is supposed to be a little metal piece that goes in there to hold the handle down. I know I definitely put it in when I left this morning. It is probably somewhere around here and I just can't find it. He had to work really hard to get that off because it's not easy to get in. And it looks like there's a tiny little piece of it in there. So I'm going to have to figure out another solution. All of this water is well water, so I don't have to actually pay for it. So it's not a big deal if he leaves it on, but it does make a huge mess. Every afternoon, I've been coming into the round pen and taking out a few wheelbarrows full of stuff that's left over from the winter. 
It usually drains really well, but it looks like Scarlet plopped a pile right where it needs to run out. This year, it's a little bit tricky to make sure everything's draining before the freezing temperatures happen overnight. Otherwise, it just turns into a little ice skating rink in here. I like to wait until the poop is a little bit dry so I can scrape it off the top. It just makes it so much easier and it's better on my back because it's not as heavy. I have been really impressed how Scarlet has quieted down over the winter. I actually don't know if some of my broke horses would let me scrape this close around their feet. I've got my handy dandy little turd train. I had somebody ask me where I got these. These are just regular carts that I've modified so I can pull them behind the four-wheeler. I just drilled a hole in the back of one and used some rope so I can connect them together. I would love to have like a UTV with a dump bed on it, but for now this works pretty slick. And it looks like Tiny is out on the prowl for some gophers. She has been acting extra frisky these last couple days. She was upset with the length of her snuggle session, so I had to give her a few more scratches before she would let me go back to work. I think Scarlet is getting a little bit bored. She would probably also just like to have me scratch on her instead of cleaning her pen. But this is one of the tasks that I have to tackle every spring and the sooner I get it done, the sooner I can start working the horses in this round pen. Tiny is feeling super fit right now. She must be running around all day long hunting mice. She did gain a little bit of weight over the winter because she just wasn't as active. When she starts up on mouse patrol all day long again, she will slim down pretty quick. I am really excited to get back to working with Scarlet. The round pen really isn't too bad. I'm down to the actual sand, but it is hard to clean up the poop that has been here over winter because it's so wet. Scarlet is not impressed and I think she really just wants to hang out with me these days. Tiny took a break from her mousing to take a little nap in the sun. She also is on high alert for some of the birds. There are a few magpies that will fly right into the barn and try and get the tops off of the horse feed. This unauthorized access is not okay with Tiny and she stands guard to make sure these guys don't get into the horse food. It is actually getting quite warm. I have been wearing fleece lined jeans all winter and it's probably about time for me to change back to my regular clothes. I know it's probably going to take a week or so for all of the ice to disappear out of the round pen. The kickboards around the bottom make it a little bit harder for the ice on the edges to melt. That is about all of the poop that is thawed out from in the round pen. I do have something that I want to show you guys that is kind of a bummer. I did open a brand new giant bale of alfalfa the other day. I was able to get a few feedings out of it and then I noticed it was a giant block of mold on the inside. This alfalfa is off a different field than I usually get it from. The quality is really good, but I've noticed some bales are really stemmy and others are really leafy. That difference can contribute to some bales being a little tiny bit wet inside and some very dry. And I think that is what happened with this one. It was on the very bottom of the stack and it didn't get rained on, so I think it just has been sitting here and going bad this entire time. I do account for some hay wastage, so it's not a huge deal. The horses have more than enough hay. I don't really like having to put moldy hay in my manure pile because it doesn't make as good of fertilizer. 
It also has to stay in the pile longer to break down before I use it. Here is another ground squirrel. Tiny is nowhere to be seen, so I think she's hiding, waiting to pounce on these guys. Tiny! I just have to clean up some tools and then I will feed all of the horses their dinner. After I got everybody fed, I had to think of a solution to keep Skeletor from turning on the water. Skeletor has also been pawing in the water tank so it gets dirty way too fast. This little clip should work well. Yup, he can't turn it on. He is still on stall rest and he has been calming down quite a bit. Maybe since he doesn't expect to get turned out every day, he is just a little bit more chill overall. I am going to give the horses a quick once over before I head home for the day. I've been trying really hard to post three videos a week and get on some kind of schedule. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and stay tuned for the next video.